Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review on the One Year Pray for America Bible. So this one is put out by Tyndale, so it's going to be in the New Living Translation. So this is a paperback that measures out at 8 and 3 8 inches tall by 5 and 3 8 inches wide, and it is 1 and 3 8 inches thick. So we can see that it is glued. We've got plain white page edges. The cover on this kind of has like a suede feel to it, and the images that they put on this are really pretty. So we've got four different images on there. And to me, that just makes me think of America from coast to coast, the way that they've done those images. Very, very pretty. On the spine, we've got Tyndale, the One Year Pray for America Bible, and NLT. On the back, it says, your country needs you to pray. And that is very, very true. So I'm going to hold that right there so you can pause it and read that section. And then we'll check out our features. So it's going to be the New Living Translation. It's going to have the one year reading plan, which it's broken up into 15 minute daily readings. So you'll have a portion of scripture from the Old as well as the New Testament, Psalms and Proverbs. So we've got the forward from Senate Chaplain Black. There's also going to be daily prayer prompts. So each day's reading includes nonpartisan prayer prompts. So I really think that that is a great idea. And then it's going to have 12 inspirational prayers. These are going to be full color pages with calls to prayer from famous Americans. So like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Franklin D. Roosevelt, and more. And we'll see those on the inside. And then here is the ISBN number. Retail is $14.99. You can find it for less online. And I will put a link in the description box. So even if you just got one of these to use the prayers every day, I think that that would be great because I think we all need to pray for our country. So we'll have our title page. We're going to have our contents. This one is a newer one. So this one just came out at the very end of 2019. We're going to have a forward. So you'll definitely want to read this. And then this section here goes over the difference prayer can make. We're going to have a publisher's note and then we're going to get into the daily reading. Now the paper in this one is a little bit different than some of the previous editions. I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not, but we can kind of see the glare on the paper there. So in my previous editions of the One Year Bible, the paper is quite a bit different and there's not any glare on this paper. So the paper is going to have a little bit different feel than what you might be used to if you've got one. So I really like the way that they've got each day broke down and the way that it starts with a prayer. So I'm gonna get you a close up so you can pause and read that. So I think uh, everybody needs to start their daily reading with prayer anyway. So this is just great. So that's gonna be the section of Genesis that you're gonna read, 1, 1 through 225. Again, it takes about 15 minutes to do the daily readings. Then once you've read that section in Genesis, then you're going to get some of the New Testament. So you'd read Matthew 1, 1 through 2, 12. And then you would have the first six verses from Psalm 1, and then the first six verses from Proverbs 1. And that's all that you would read in that day. So I really like the way that they've got it broken down. I love that they've got the prayers in there. I'm a big fan of the one year Bible reading plan. You may have seen my video that I did for the One Year Bibles that I did just at the beginning of the year. So here's one of the full color pages. So I really like the images that they've got on there. We can see Washington and then there's the other pictures around it. So it'll give you the prayer, the date that it was. So I'm going to pan down this so you can pause and read this prayer. So I really like the way that they've included these. I think it's a great idea to have a Bible like this. So here's one from Abraham Lincoln. And so this one was March 30th of 1863. So I think these pages are just fascinating. So I'm going to show you all of those. So we've got one here from Billy Graham from 2013. But very nicely done the way they've done all these pages. So I think this is going to be just a really neat Bible. 
I would definitely recommend every Christian that's in America get something like this. Because if we're all on board and we're praying for our country, I think that can make a big difference. So this one here was a prayer for the anniversary of 9-11. So that's going to be something that pretty much everybody can relate to. And then we've got a book of common prayer for sound government here. So I think that is really neat. And then a prayer for veterans and their families. But just a really neat Bible. And then once we get to the very end of it, then it's got the credits for the one year Pray for America Bible. So it goes over the bibliography on the full color pages and then any of the image credits, but very easy to read, a great size. The print quality is really good. So again, it would take you only about 15 minutes per day to read and get through the whole Bible, but very nicely done. Again, I really like the way they did the cover design on there with the pictures. But really a neat Bible. I would definitely recommend a one-year Bible. And this one for the Pray for America, I would definitely recommend this Bible. And so if retail's $15, you can get it for a lot less online. And as always, there will be a link in the description box. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.